So this is just a quick, easy way to create a font. Um, I don't really think you could use this for like really scripted out, like cursive fonts, but just quick little handwritten fonts or fonts that don't really need a lot of connection in between each letter. I think Clickrefer is so much fun. I use it kind of just like as a creative exercise to get into the flow of creativity and you know create something new. And so you can create an account for free and then they also have an upgrade plan. Um, I'm on the free plan. I've used the paid plan in the past and I think it's like $10 a month or less. It's not bad. But if you just wanna test this out, sign up for the free account, give it a test drive and see what you think. So I'm gonna create a template and in this area, you're just basically going to add the characters that you want to use in your font. Now, this is one of the, the limitations of the free account. You can only have so many, I think like maybe 75. So I'm going to go with minimal English. And beyond this, I'm just going to add minimal numbers. And so with this, I can go and create in the free account um, because it is less than the limit of the characters that they give you. And then from here, I'm just going to download the template. Um, I'm going to, I'll probably just do a PDF. You could definitely do a PNG as well. Actually, I'll do a PNG because I don't think I've done that for a while. A uh, calligrapher template. I'm good with that name. And then characters of the backgrounds. That just kind of gives you like a shadowy reference to draw over the letter. I like to use that. And then size of template cells. I'm going to keep it where it is. I'm going to use the help lines and then I'm going to download it. So now you'll see the zip folder. Um, it's downloaded onto my computer. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to finish out my template in Procreate. Um, you could definitely do this with whatever software you use. I like to use my Apple Pencil with this because it just gives me a little more control than using it in Photoshop with my tablet that I use in there. But this is just the basic template. And so I have it downloaded on my computer. I'm going to upload it into Dropbox because Dropbox is the bridge that I use to go from my PC to my iPad. Of course, these steps may look different for you depending on what tech and what software you're using. So here I have the calligrapher template opened up in Procreate. And then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer on it. And then from here, I would just start marking over the letters. So like for instance, this five, whoops, making sure I have it black. It's a little big. And I would just practice writing all those out depending on how I wanted my font to look. Now I have one already worked that I've worked on in here. Let me see. So this one, so once I have it all filled out and the template may look different, like there's also the option because as you'll see like on this one, there's more characters. And so I'd need to work on two files and then merge those into one project up in Calligrapher. But for this example, this one right here, I would just go and share it as a JPEG or a PDF, however you want to share it. Now I'm going to send it back to Dropbox and go back to pulling it in to my computer. So here is the completed template in that I completed in Procreate, pulled it into Dropbox, then I'm going to download it from here and then upload it back into my Calligrapher account. So I'm just going to hit upload template and find the template on my desktop upload it. So I'm going to add the characters to the font. And then in the free plan, it does give you a little bit of control. Um, it gives you more control if you have the paid plan. But we could edit the font details, we could name it. So hand stamped type, we could adjust the letter sp spacing, the font size, the word spacing, um, I'm going to go and decrease the letter spacing a little bit and actually I'm going to say hand stamped type three because I've been working on this one a little bit and I think I already have one on my computer named hand stamped type and so I'm going to save um, let's see right here you could adjust the baseline like if you had some fonts like this one right here like I could move that up a little bit or move, you know, move this up. I, I'm okay if these are like a little bit wonky um, because this font is kind of that way. 
And then from there, I could just build the font. So I'm going to build it. And then I can download it. And so I can look at this and, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Kind of looks like a handwritten font with a little bit of a stamped appeal to it. Um, maybe like an old typewriter cross between that and a handwritten font. And then I'm just going to download it. And then you'll see it right here. And so then it gives you, you know, how it looks with the, the quick brown fox sentence. And then I'm just going to hit install. So here we are in Photoshop. Of course, this is just an optional step, but I'm going to just test it out over here. So using the type tool, I'm going to go up to my font list and then go down to hand stamped font. Since I've installed it on my computer, it should show up there. And then I can test it out. You could go and share your file. You could give it away for free. You could, you know, um, sell it. You could create more. So many possibilities. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this was fun. There are so many other more in-depth ways to create fonts with different font softwares. But this is a way to create one for free, easily, in a, you know, pretty short, easy manner. So just keep in mind, you know, if you... If you look on Creative Market and you look at those fonts and some of them are so beautiful and detailed, then they probably weren't using Calligrapher, but, a, you know, a true font software.